Hello everyone, I am Boran. In this video, I will solve a question uh, in Predict 101. Uh, so, this is a basic harmonic motion question. Uh, we have a spring here, a stick with mass M, capital M, and it has a length of 1.25 meters. And the question says, if it oscillates up and down slightly, what is the frequency of the oscillation? Uh, the slightly is important here because if you remember, since this um, oscillation uh, it happens in a small distance, we can say that sine theta equals to theta is equal, um, approximately equals to theta. So, first of all, we can assume that this is uh, the equilibrium uh, state with a little displacement here. Let's say it is this amount of displacement. And I will call this distance capital L for now. Now, let's write uh, torques on the stick now equals to uh, at this point we have a uh, torque because of the mass of the stick which is uh, m g times no this is the uh, force and the torque is m g times l over 2 uh, minus this uh, that is also a torque here on the other direction, uh, which is the spring constant K uh, times the displacement times the distance L. Now, the oscillation is uh, a slight, a small oscillation. We, we, we don't have to think about L, does the L changes? It's just L from here to here. Don't worry about it. Now this equals to zero uh, since this is the equilibrium uh, case. Uh, so let's keep in mind this equation. Let's call it equation one. Now let's say that we start to oscillate uh, the stick and the stick goes a little distance y from the equilibrium point and this creates a angle of theta now at this point at this point let's call this point 1 for the equation 1 and this point 2 at point 2 we also need to write the torques total uh, torque now it equals to uh, once again the torque because of the mass m g l over 2 minus spring constant times the, the total displacement plus y times uh, the distance from the uh, rot rotation point L. This equals to, if you remember, uh, the Newton, uh, Newton's uh, second law of rotation says that the total torque on a body, rigid body, equals to moment of inertia times angular uh, acceleration. Now this is, remember this is angular acceleration. And for this case, moment of inertia is 1 over 3 times uh, m l squared. Yeah. So this is I times L, I times alpha, which equals to 1 over 3 m L square B theta B T square. Yeah. Now we have this and this. Uh, if you look at equation one, you can see that uh, this guy here and um, if you open this, okay, minus k y, minus k y, help. 
this here and uh, this here are actually cancel each other. So just write this um, minus k y l equals to one over three m l square. Uh, now, since the oscillation uh, up and down slightly, which is slightly, as I said, told you before, we have this uh, approximation. Um, now, since this angle is theta, and we have 90 degrees here, all these are approximation because of the small moons. And, and we know that this is L. We can say that Y equals to L times uh, sine theta times L because of the geometry, as you know. Now we can say this is theta, so times L. We will use this approximation. Uh, just write this through here minus k l squared theta equals to 1 over 3 m l squared e to e squared let's arrange this properly please cancel out so z over e c squared uh, plus k, 3k over n uh, theta equals to 0 now this equation should be familiar to you if you remember now if we have a oscillation like this this is a mass uh, we, we can say that minus chi x kx equals to ma ma so um, so since this is the acceleration we can say this is the second derivative of x now you have plus um, k over m k over m x equals to 0 yeah. so as you can see these equations are similar and if you can remember we you know that t equals to 2p in square root m over k now uh, if you take this to the left side t over 2p equals to m over k square root and k over m from here equals to 2p over t square now pay attention this part is actually angular speed uh, so the omega so k over m equals to omega square now i i know that this is x and this is theta but that's how i uh, keep in mind all the stuff so you can use this uh, derivation as well i think for, uh, this will work for your finals now what i said is that k over m is omega squared now check it this is k over m so this is actually omega squared so i will just because they are familiar i will just say that this is also omega squared but um, if you have another derivation, you can use it. That's how I remember all the stuff. And now I will say that we know that 3k over m equals to w, and we know this is a, this equals to 2pf, the frequency. No, this is square, so this is square. So we can find the frequency of the oscillation here just uh, do the algebra f square times 4 pi square equals to 
uh, 3k over n and from here we have frequency equals to 3k over n square root times 1 over 2p this is the frequency uh, that the question asks so thank you for watching and good luck in your finals